Okay, welcome back to Jacob It's Learning. This is an SAT short. So let's take a look at this. this is actually from an SAT from 2022. So in the early 1800s, let's get this real quick, the Cherokee Squalor Sequoia created the first script. Uh, and it, it's not really important, but everyone knows that Sequoia was a Native American, so you don't need this here. It doesn't matter because, okay, it meaning the language. So you go back up here, the script. They say script, so let's keep it here. It meaning the script represented the sounds of spoken Cherokee so accurately. His script was easy to learn and thus quickly achieved use. By 1830, over 90% of the Cherokee people could read and write it. So is it widespread? He achieved widespread use. That's a possibility, so let's check it. Is it careful use? Well, maybe, but why would we want to keep careful? Is it unintended? Take this out. Unintended would mean that 90% of the people did not learn it. It's exactly, and infrequent is the same. So one of these, would you say careful use for a script or a language? No. You'd say widespread, and when you look on the answer key on the SAT suites and on the choices, A is correct. So we're going to go ahead and circle it because instead of bubbling it in. Okay, now let's move on to another one. The following text is from Sarah Orne's uh, Jewett's 1899 short story, Martha's Lady. Martha is employed by Miss Pine as a maid. Miss Pine sat by the window watching in her best dress, looking stately and calm. She seldom went out now. And it was almost time for the carriage. Martha was just coming in from the garden with the strawberries and with more flowers in her apron. It was a bright, cool evening in June. The golden robin sang and the elms in the garden sun and the sun, excuse me, was going down behind the apple trees at the foot of the garden. The beautiful old house stood wide open to the long expected guest. So what's going on here? There's a guest coming with the carriage. Make these connections. So which choice best states the main purpose? To convey the worries brought about by a guest? Well, this is out because the guest isn't there. Wrong. To describe how the characters have changed over time? Well, we're not talking about the characters. We're talking about a guest. And it's not enough to know just from, like, I'm going in and out. You don't have enough background information. To contrast the activity indoors with the stillness outside, well, you don't hear the activities indoors. Well, a little, you just see that she sat by the window, and that's it. Okay? And so that's out. So D is really your only choice, to depict the setting as a character's way to visit to his arrival. And remember, you have this word, long-expected guest. She's not there and once again, we're waiting for the carriage. We're done. Go check the answer keys. This is question number nine. And the other one was question one, SAT suites. Those are the answers. Thanks for watching.